Hello everyone, welcome back, Mystery Recapping. In this video, I'm going to recaps one of the thriller movie from 2020, Captive. Let's start the storyline. The film begins with a young lady named Lily, who chooses to take off from home in view of her oppressive dad. Accompanied by her boyfriend, Neil, she paces through the woods until the two stop to take a break. While they take a rest, Lily's conviction wavers because she misses her parents and is about to call them. However, Neil stops her and tells her that they must not turn back. They resume their journey and later that day, the two realize that they have run out of water. Because the sky is getting dark, the two decide to pause their journey and set up camp. Lily puts up a tent while Neil goes to look for some water. After she securely finds cover inside the tent, Lily understands that Neil took her telephone with him. She stands by the entire night for him to return yet he won't ever do. That next morning, Lily restlessly continues strolling alone until she goes over a house and runs up towards it. She is welcomed in by a man named Evan and promptly asks to borrow his landline to call her missing boyfriend. However, she begins to sense that something is off when Evan insists that she should take a shower at his house. A bit weirded out, she decides to walk away from the house and change her mind. However, Evan refuses to let her go and manages to bring her back inside. He apologizes for his behavior earlier, and Lily slowly begins to sense that he is indeed unhinged. She tries to leave anyway, and Evan starts yelling at her before dragging her into a room. In the wake of being effectively hauled and locked inside a room, Lily tracks down news cutouts of missing people all around the walls. Dread overwhelms her, and she starts searching for whatever might assist her with protecting herself against Evan. But then, Evan who is palpably angered takes the hammer off her hands and changes his mind about getting her to walk out of the room. He then leaves the room again and proceeds to activate his home security system, which allows him to seal all exits in his house. Afterwards, he pays Lily another visit, this time offering her food and telling her that they'll get her a shower. Lily who is now confused and scared, begs him to let her go. Evan drags her away to a room with a treadmill and tells her that she should use it for no apparent reason. On the next day, Evan is seen reading the morning paper, wherein we can see that two people who are none other than Evan and Lily are reported missing. He pays one more visit to Lily, who once more asks for him to let her go. Evan disregards her and continues to advise her that she should prepare to win. To win what precisely? We don't know. The day goes by, and sometime thereafter, we see Evan furnishing Lily with a bed. He additionally gives her something to eat. On the next day, Evan enters the room again and asks her to lie down on the mat. But instead of doing what Psycho Man always did, he tells her to start doing sit-ups. Lily initially cooperates despite her confusion, until she suddenly remembers her father's abusive behavior and does this. Oddly enough, he leaves her alone. He just revisitations of proposition her dinner, under the condition that she completes her sit-up sets. Lily who is ravenous yields and does as he says, regardless of being off the wall. Incidentally, Evan is still of a man of integrity, for he directs her to the lounge area subsequently. As of now, for reasons unknown Evan alludes to her with the name Catherine. Lily stays silent for now and plays along, while she inconspicuously looks around for anything that might help her escape. She reaches for a table knife, but then, Evan takes the knife away from her and cuts the food into small pieces for her to eat. He then returns to his seat as if nothing ever happened and brings the knife with him. Lily who is now more frustrated than ever, begins to toss bits of her food away in annoyance, which eventually gets Evan to lose his patience. Evan comes to see her again later that day and tells her to put on the sports where he brought her. He then sets up the treadmill and requests that she use it. While Lily works out, Evan's sibling visits him to determine the status of him. Evan energetically lets him know that Catherine has returned and is presently practicing first floor. The brother grows worried and is convinced that Evan forgot to take his meds. He tells Evan to seek therapy, and this offends Evan, who obviously thinks that he is 100% sane. Here we learn that Evan is suffering from delusional disorder. The two brothers get into an argument until the brother walks away with dejection. Not long after, Evan returns to the basement to check up on Lily and casually informs her that her uncle just paid a visit. Hearing this, Lily feels a spark of hope, but unfortunately she is too late because Evan's brother had already left the premises. Lily then decides to play into Evan's charade and tells Evan she want to see her uncle. Evan then tells her to get cleaned up, and the camera pans to a picture of a younger Evan and his daughter Catherine on the fridge. While she showers, Evan makes the bed. He is now so deep in his delusion that he is fully convinced that Lily is his daughter, Catherine. Lily hesitantly chooses to cooperate, and even consents to get into Catherine's garments. Later on, Lily tracks down an image of Catherine with her folks, and tracks down Catherine's journal under the bed. After taking some time to check it out, Lily exits the bedroom and begins to try to sneak out. Evan asks where she's going, and Lily says she just want to see if he needs help. 
Evan welcomes her to the kitchen, and Lily is forced to play along yet again. When she thinks Evan isn't looking, she tries to sneak out again but fails miserably. This time, Evan tells her to go back to Catherine's room. With nothing else to do, Lily decides to read more of Catherine's diary. In it she discovers that Evan was an overprotective pushover who'd punish her for failing at the most menial things, like getting caught in hide and seek. He also pushed her to always practice in order to become a champion in sports. This of course didn't sit well with the mom since that much exercise isn't normal for 12-year-old girl and it led to arguments throughout their marriage. As Lily peruses on, she goes over a section that says that when Catherine got her period, Evan didn't have any idea how to respond on the grounds that he didn't actually grasp it. Realizing this, Lily thinks of a thought. She chooses to call Evan and requests that he get her a few cushions or tampons since she's in her period. Evan buys into this act. Before he leaves the house, he asks her to go exercise in the basement again. Lily reads some more until she hears Evan returns. Just as Evan pulls up in his garage, Neil innocently arrives and asks him if Evan has seen his missing girlfriend. Upon seeing a picture of Lily, Evan who is deeply delusional begins to suspect that Neil was sent by his brother to take him to a mental hospital. He asks Neil to leave and even threatens to call the police. Neil who is weirded out leaves the premises right away. Upon returning inside, Evan asks Lily to measure her height. And for a second, his suspension of disbelief is disrupted when he realizes that Lily is shorter than Catherine. To maintain their charade, Lily stands on her tippy toes to make herself seem taller. He then asks her to skip rope. Lily who has grown tired of being told what to do decides to beat him. She then demands for him to hand her the keys to this room. That night, Lily resumes studying Catherine's diary and discovers that Evan's wife was killed in a car accident, which left Catherine alone with Evan. She is then interrupted by Evan summoning her for supper and promptly joins him in the dining room. Evan continues to do what he always does for her, despite having been severely beaten and previously. At this point, Lily starts to feel bad about what she did and apologizes to Evan. During this time, she has a go at telling Evan that she really wants to go to class soon in light of the fact that school break is reaching a conclusion. Evan briskly tells her that she will be self-taught. After supper, he requests that she play Find the Stowaway, a game he used to play with Catherine. Lily plays along and fakes an injury doing the game, which in reality is a ruse so that she could spend more time reading Catherine's diary. Out of nowhere, an earthquake strikes. Evan guides her outside to safety, and afterwards, they proceed to clean up the mess inside the house caused by the earthquake. Lily comes across a framed picture of Evan finishing a race, and he explains to her that all he wants is for his daughter to continue in his footsteps and become a track athlete. On the following day, Evan and Lily is out in the lawn. He's busy making her run laps when she attempts to escape once more. Very much like last time, she fizzles. Nonetheless, their little fight brings about Lily hyper extending her lower leg. With her physical issue, Lily chooses to set to the side her departure plan and vows to herself that she will prepare herself to turn out to be quicker once she mends. In the meantime, goes about her days pretending to be Catherine. Months go by. And Lily begins to get used to the training Evan makes her go through. Over time, Lily and Evan oddly seem to grow closer. At this point, it is as if Lily already thinks of him as a father. Evan is so proud of Lily when she beats Catherine's old training records. We come across a scene Evan announces that he has signed her up for a track competition, and they have seven weeks to train. Hearing this, Lily seems genuinely excited to prepare for it. One evening, when Lily is snoozing, Evan comes dependent upon her and starts saying sorry to her for the mishap that killed Catherine's mom. Here we can infer that the justification for why Catherine left was on the grounds that she faulted Evan for the demise of her mom. That next morning, Lily attempts to slip away once more until Evan stops her and carelessly advises her to rest for the afternoon. He proceeds to hand her a gift, proclaiming that today is Catherine's birthday. Lily unwraps the gift in Catherine's room, wherein she finds a new smartphone. Lily proceeds to type in her boyfriend's number and saves it in her new phone. Evan then announces that he's going to go buy her a birthday cake. After he drives away, Lily uses this opportunity to finally step outside and runs to freedom. Returning, Evan goes over a vehicle pulling up at his home. As the driver ventures out, he observes that it is, in all honesty, his real girl, Catherine. He continues to give her the things he recently purchased, and they step inside the house. Catherine seems perplexed, because she expected more excitement from him upon her sudden return. Evan immediately tells her to go inside her room, while he prepares a birthday surprise. Though confused, Catherine listens and sits down on her desk, where she finds her old diary. Upon going through the pages, she discovers new notes in certain pages that are clearly not written by her. As it turns out, Lily isn't running away, and she finally comes to face with Catherine. Catherine is obviously rendered confused as Lily who now also seems a little unhinged begins to explain that she is a younger version of Catherine. 
who dresses, eats, lives, and breathes as her, and that she manages to surpass Catherine's track record. Lily also voices how happy she is living her new life, which only freaks Catherine out. Lily then continues to fault Catherine for abandoning Evan, which wrecked his emotional well-being and caused him to abduct her. She lets Catherine know that Catherine ought to have upheld her dad after the auto collision, rather than leaving him. Obviously, Lily likewise feels more fondness towards Evan than her own dad, and Catherine has no clue about how it feels to have a beast type of father. With Evan, she feels loved and taken care of. In short, Lily refuses to stop pretending to be Catherine, and takes a knife and moves to stab Catherine with it, which ends up killing her. Like a certified psycho, Lily proceeds to celebrate Catherine's birthday with Evan and asks him if they could drive around town together. Just before they leave, Lily decides to erase her boyfriend's number from her phone and move forward with her life with her new, loving father. And this is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching video.